How's it going, everybody? So I just got back on uh, from a pretty cool beer run sort of trip to Tyler, Texas, and I picked up some really awesome beer. While I was there, there's a couple of stores I like to go to. Um, one is Fresh, which is um, similar to Whole Foods, if you've ever been there, and they have a really awesome beer selection. And then I went to another place for the first time. It's called World Market, where they have a pretty extensive beer selection as well. And between the two, I picked up some really awesome stuff. So once again, I just want to show you guys what I was able to get my hands on and kind of give you an idea of what's going on for future beer reviews. To begin, some not-so-crazy singles. Stuff that I just wanted to review, but um, I don't really want to commit to buying a full six-pack of. So to begin... We have Hop Devil by Victory Brewing Company. It's just a standard IPA. Comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. And we're just squeezing in under the best buy date. So actually March 24th is when you should enjoy this. So we're barely squeezing under that. Next from Lagunitas, this is Lagunitas Censored, which is a rich copper ale. That's all it says. 6.7% again. That's interesting that they both have the same ABV. So there's that. <clears throat> and my last single from Avery Brewing Company. This is Ellie's Brown Ale. A brown ale that comes in at 5.5%. So now we'll move on to the more impressive stuff. This is something really interesting. Um, this is from Fishtail Ales. Um, but it's a... Lord of the Rings tribute from the Hobbit movie, The Desolation of Smog, and this is Bolg, which is a Belgian-styled triple, and it's just really interesting Lord of the Rings kind of dedication beer. comes in at 9.5% alcohol by volume, so that's really cool. Um, moving right along, as I said in a previous review, I said that um, Smutty Nose, I would give them another chance if I found a more heavy, dark beer style, and I did. This is their Gravitation, which is a Belgian-styled quad. Um, comes in at 12.3%. That's huge, so we'll see if their quad's any good. Moving right along, this is from Deep Ellum Brewing Company. This is Darkest Hour, which is an Imperial Stout. Comes in at 11% alcohol by volume. And I got this for a couple of reasons. Deep Ellum Brewing Company is the first brewery I ever toured. And they're what I call a hit and miss brewery. Some of their stuff's really good, some of it's not so great. Um, but it's going to be hard to have an Imperial Stout that doesn't taste good to me because it's my favorite style. And um, as far as I've seen, I think this is a discontinued beer or something they have temporarily retired. So I have a feeling it's not the easiest thing to get your hands on, possibly. So there's that. Coming into the final three, this is from, it says Crooked Line, and this is um, Cockeyed Cooper, and it is a bourbon barrel aged barley wine that comes in at, what is it, I guess it was 11.1% 11, 11 alcohol by volume, I think it's probably right in front of my nose and I just can't see it, hmm. I don't see the ABV anywhere. Oh, here it is, 11.1% alcohol by volume. Um, this is something I really, really am excited to uh, review for you guys. I had this on tap at the Ginger Man, and it was absolutely amazing. And I thought, I really hope I can find this one day to review, and I did. This is Golden Drac 9000, which is their quad ale. Lots of lots of Belgian stuff in this haul. That's, I'm not complaining. Um I remember this being really tasty whenever I tried it on tap, so I can't wait to review it. And now we come to the final beer, which is possibly the coolest, most special thing. Um, this is Collaboration, not Litigation Ale. This is a collab beer between Avery Brewing Company and Russian River, the guys who have, like, you know, Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger, Blind Pig, all those really high, super high up there rated uh, IPAs. It's a numbered batch. It is batch number 8. It was bottled in January of 2015. It's 8.9% alcohol by volume, and it is a Belgian dark strong ale, so I'm super excited to get to try something between two absolutely legendary breweries, Avery and um, Russian River. I mean, that just sounds absolutely like legendary, so... 
really pleased with this little haul that I pulled here. I want to show you guys what's coming in future reviews, and I'll see you on the next beer review video.